We didn't take a broad enough view of our responsibility, and that was a big mistake. And it was my mistake, and I'm sorry. What a story, Mark. Millions of people who use the popular payment app, uh, Cash App, may have had their personal information exposed. The same hacker group that leaked NVIDIA's DLSS source code and grabbed Galaxy device data from Samsung, they've now struck another high-profile target, Microsoft. Yeah, and, and the hackers broke into this site. So they used some vulnerabilities and some, actually, the competitor software to break into the site. Who is that? I'm your best friend. But Ring says in the Memphis case, their security was not breached, adding hackers often reuse credentials stolen or leaked from one service on other services. Robinhood is down on the pre-market after disclosing that data security incident that took place Wednesday night. In a blog post, the trading platform said, quote, the unauthorized party obtained a list of email addresses for about five million people. No need to shout. No need to yell. No need to have a riot. Shut your eyes. Take a deep breath. Oh, you've gone all quiet. I can finally talk about this on YouTube because before, if you talked about this website on YouTube, you would get banned. But I can talk about it now. It's a website called Raid Forms. And you might ask, well, what's this website Raid Forms do? This website is designed for people to swat people and steal their passwords and their phone numbers. Wow, what a, what a great service they provide. Um... Uh... <laughs> and this website has been around for a really long time, at least seven years. In a year's worth of effort, Europol, Interpol, and the FBI have all teamed up to take it down. And I think people, and then there was even reports on, uh, on like Bleeping Computer, which showed that the login page was actually still up, just so the, just so the law enforcement could steal people's passwords. <laughs> ironic ironic right the service that steals people's passwords so is the then, government really is trying to steal your passwords the whole this is i think a bigger deal because now this leaves a bigger a bigger market into all of the the massive criminal underground but I, a lot of these stories it's like they don't really tell you oh what can you do against s scummy services like raid forms what are you going to do to protect yourself when you get if you're going to get your password stolen well, friends, I have the perfect solution for you. The solution is called KeyPass XC, a password manager for the modern age. <laughs> and the reason I'm, I bring this up is because coincidentally, in the last week, uh, it, they released uh, a new new UI features and a bunch of other cool stuff. Does it work on mobile devices? Uh, no, but they, and that's this is and that's where. Right. Dra yes, you say draft, but there's actually a way out of this. Because of KeyPass's distribution, you are able to use a mobile application. Okay, if you're on Android, uh, there's a great service called uh, KeyPass DX. Uh, this allows you to open your KeyPass databases uh, on your on your phone. Yes, it even works with KeyPass XE's formats, and it's it's you can get it on F Droid or the Play Store, or even directly from the repo. You know. I, stuff you would hope to expect from an open source application. Now, if you're on iOS, it's a little more complicated, but there's really two applications that everyone falls on. Uh, depends on how you feel about them, I guess. So the first is an, this app here. It's an app called Strongbox. This is actually the one I use. I, 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 like, I like it personally. I think some people just really don't like the UI. The UI kind of bugs people, I guess. Um, but if you don't like the UI, there's also, uh, there's also Keypassium. And both of them are kind of about the same they i feel like i like strongbox just because when i was testing both of them i chose it because it was getting more frequent updates when i was using keypassium i didn't feel like it was just it wasn't getting as many updates um but it doesn't mean it isn't awful or anything i mean you know under the hood maybe it's cleaner i don't know i can't read swift but ignoring the phone app world i want to just talk about keypass xe because these services here, uh, you can create a database like Strongbox or Keypassium or Keypass DX. Uh, you can create a Keypass database on them, but it doesn't feel good. And it's also on a phone. Phones are awful. I hate phones. I am never going to download your stupid app. It's never going to happen. Never going to install it. How do you download Keypass XC, Matt? I'm stuck. Well, you, it's great. You All you have to do is just follow the instructions on this website. 
So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to launch the key pass. And this is the screen you've been presented with. I'm actually using a different thing. So the, by default, what I did was I'm actually using the dark theme because uh, we need to end the cancer that is light theme. I'm so sick of light theme. Can we, can we stop doing the light theme? So I forget where it is. Yes, we go to view, go here, check dark. Dark theme only, kids. No, no light theme. Light theme is for boomers. We need, we need to stop. If you're a normal person, you'd never use key pass in your life. I need to tell you right now, and I'm gonna I'll put my the prayer hands out there like Tim Cook does, okay? Please, 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 please. Use a password manager. Please. Don't use a and use a legit one. Not I save all my passwords in Chrome. Not uh, I store all my passwords in a Google Doc. Yes, I know people who do this. I store all my passwords in an Excel spreadsheet. Do not be these people. Do not. Well, I think that is, I, I think KeePass is supposed to be the alternative to people doing that. It's the, the proper way of having your Excel spreadsheet of passwords. In fact, speaking of Excel spreadsheets, you can actually import CSV. So if you convert yeah, your Excel spreadsheet they, into they CSV. They know what you're doing. You can, you can import from a CSV. And uh, if you're a KeePass user from the Windows app, uh, you can import it, import it from here. And also if you use 1Password, yes, because apparently recently 1Password changed their policy so you can't have offline databases of your stuff anymore. Uh, that's really kind of scummy. So uh, I'm going to create this, but uh, let's say you're going into this fresh for the first time. That's what we're going to do. So I'm going to create a new database. Uh, you can create a database name so this is really what the this is really just for internal purposes so like let's say you want to call this uh let's say like the youtube that's not how you spell youtube password that's that's good enough though good enough oh, description YouTube. description hi susan <laughs> and that's going to be our database so you know put that there you don't have to in fact you could just leave this blank i mean when i created my database for the first time i just left this as a default you want to do that great good for you you don't have to do this next encryption time uh honestly i don't think it's worth changing this i mean like thank you now you're gonna enter in your password uh now i do want to say uh this is the password in your life that needs to be really 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 good please make this really 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 good don't forget the password, write it down, write it down a couple of times and like mail a copy to your grandmother or like put it somewhere, somewhere else so that you can find it if you need it until you are absolutely sure you know that password. Uh, think about a, a, a common phrase that works for you that's too long to brute force and also make them unlikely to be in the dictionary. Admiral Alonso Ghost Penis 420 YOLO. That's pretty good. Right? Uh, so is... if you ever want to make a good password, uh, you can't keep pass. If you click on this little dice roll symbol, you're gonna have to get really used to this uh, when you use keypass X save. So if you click on this little dice roll symbol, it creates this nice little uh, menu here. And in this menu, uh, this this I'll, I'll reveal it here. Uh, this is where you can, this is for uh, this is keypass's own uh, password generator using the same encryption. If you want to do a human member by role password, if you go to pass phrase, and you can actually create uh, the XKCD pass using the I EFF word Human list. friendly, human friendly password. Yeah, so here we have a Procreate Tiara Flame comic, and this is generated using the EFF's uh, Diceware rule list. That seems a little scandalous there. And then uh, we also, you can also create uh, up to 40 seed words. Actual number of entries. But typically, I think about like six or seven is really sufficient. Uh, for the purposes of this video, though, I am going to enter a super secret password. Uh, is that? Is, is that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? No, silly. Well, of course not. So be sure to commit commit it to memory, and uh, we also and then it'll ask you to save your passwords somewhere. So uh, you know. Save it someplace where you, you, know, you, you can find it, okay? I know people who struggle to find things on their computers. So, save it. I'm just going to call this uh, YouTube. As you can see, it is at the top right here. Uh, that is the title that I gave in the thing. You can name that whatever you want. 
But now you're off to the races. You have your key pass database. And uh, let's get started. When you get started, click, let's get started. So click on the plus icon. This is plus icon at the top right here. Just click on the plus icon. Then you're presented with this really big menu where you can type in stuff. So the first thing that you have is the title, right? So let, this is my YouTube password, right? So let's just say, this is my Google account. And uh, this is going to be uh, my uh, Gmail account. So uh, this is going to be um, uh, Sundar Pichai, gmail.com. I'm sure he exists somewhere. Then we're going to give it, this a password. So uh, we're gonna go, you were like, you might be tempted to type in something here, and there are cases where you might have to do that. But uh, recommendation is, let's say, because you're, let's say this is your actual account password, right? Because uh, this key pass isn't gonna change your passwords. So uh, if you click on the dice icon again, again, I said, get really used to this, and we're gonna create a password for our Google account, for the Google account, right? So, uh, and I'm only speaking about this from experience, okay? So you kind of have to, test the waters a bit and see uh, what you have to do, but uh, Google is actually one of the companies nice enough to actually tell you uh, how many characters you actually are allowed to have in your password. Some companies don't, like Twitch for example. Twitch only allows you to have a 71 character password because they do not allow characters beyond 72. They don't My tell favorite... people this. But My favorite is when a form allows you to put in as many characters as you want, but if you hit enter, it uh it like buffer overflows or something on the page and uh the page just won't load which i've had happen before cute so uh, i'll be nice give you guys all a little cheaty tip uh change all your google account passwords now if you don't haven't already there's something or strong so also better yet when they uh when they have a password and they say oh you have to use special characters but some of the special characters are uh, are banned characters, and they don't have proper text ah, let's, in, let's get into that, right? So if you click on the advanced tab here, right, you can actually choose uh, which characters you are allowed to have and which characters you aren't allowed to have. So, for example, the default is with symbols, as you get the pound sign, uh, so the hashtag, uh, the dollar sign, percent, ampersand, at symbol, carrot, some sort of, generally most services stay within uh within these things if anything uh it just adds a little bit more to your password but it doesn't really add much i mean i only would fiddle with these like if you really really need to okay so uh keep this in mind when you go through your passwords and i'll get i'll, I'll give be generous and tell you guys now uh, google lets you do 100 character passwords whatever the symbol you want boom now have your super duper strong google password you're like but how am i supposed to remember this the point of this using a password manager is you don't remember this you don't need to remember this uber duper super duper long password you only remember that super duper secure password that i entered in at the beginning of this video which is totally not penguins <laughs> all right and then you also have to enter in the url so this url is actually going to be the url where you log in so if you actually uh, save this, uh, this will give you a little link you can click on to go to your browser. So that way, uh, if someone tries to send you a login link, uh, you can click on the link in your password manager so you can't be fished. It's, I mean, that's just a minor thing. I don't think people actually listen to that, but whatever. So for if I go take, let's fall back onto the example of Google, right? So I'm going to go to google.com, right? And uh, let's sign. Thank you, Google. You know exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> Google knows everything. We're gonna go to sign into my Google, the Google account, right? So uh, this is actually going to be where you want the URL that you want to save at the top right here. So we're just gonna, but generally you only need the the top domain and subdomain here. So I'm just gonna select accounts.google.com because I believe that is sufficient enough. I'll just click copy, scroll over here, and we'll paste. And you can also add tags if you want to make this searchable. So if I want to just add tag Google, boom. It's, it's also comma separated, so in order to separate you got Google, say you want to do like YouTube, say you want to do Privacy Nightmare, uh, uh, Gmail, can, Gmail, you can do all of those things. Uh, Drive. And then you can also add yeah. in notes, right? So for example, uh, with your notes, uh, you can enter in things like, and usually what I do here is, uh, I usually add in supplementary information 
about my account. So let's say I want to enter in like a phone number, right? Because every Google account requires a phone number because it's your internet social security number and all of big tech wants your phone number. If you want to enter in your phone number, uh, what you can do is you can actually just type in your phone number here. So I'm just going to enter in uh, my, my phone number here. And that's going to be the phone number. And then what you also can do is your birthday. All of Big Tech also wants to know your birthday. Uh, I'm just going to do the year we create. I'm just going to do the month we created our. We started doing YouTube. 2021. May 1st, 2021. And then uh, you can also. Usually, another thing I also do here is uh, when you turn on two factor authentication, you, all, you also. They give you backup codes. I would put in the backup codes here, too, in case you need them. You never know. <laughs> You know, to reset two-factor authentication or bypass it, like, one time or something. You know, just a little thing. And there's a bunch of other options here, so I would ignore advanced. Don't really worry about this. Um, icon. You can also give it a cute little icon. Um, but uh, you can also download the favicon, right? So if I click on downloading the favicon, and then you'll notice here that my firewall perked up. And notice that KeePass XC is trying to phone home to accounts.google.com. So, uh, it, and I'm going to temporarily allow allow this because I am is using... Is that Lulu? No, this is, op this is Open Snitch. Maybe do a video open in the snitch. future. So I'll click Allow. Go do it, and then boom! You'll see here, download your favorite con. Oh! Wow! My database crashed. But as you can see, it still kept the favorite con, even though it did save my entry, but whatever. Um... And that's pretty much it. I wouldn't worry about all this other stuff. I mean, this also shows here there's the basic amount of metadata or whatever about your database entry. Login data? Uh, yeah, like when you last changed your password or whatever. Um, but a cool feature here, and I do want to bring this up because this does impact me, uh, is this, the expiration feature. I forgot to cover this. The expiration feature is for stupid companies using outdated policies like expiring passwords. <laughs> So, for example, my company, all of the passwords expire at a certain day of the year, which is stupid. I don't know why they yeah. do this. Because if someone gets a hold of the database, all it means is that they're going to check password 2 instead of password 1. Exactly. Which is which just makes this completely pointless. Uh, you can click this little drop-down menu here to get a little calendar. Um, but uh, you can actually use this as a good measure of uh, saying, like, well, I created this password. Uh, what I'm going to do is I know my boss is going to ruin my password uh, one year from now. So I'm going to do 2020 year, 20, April 2023 for the time of this video. And then what that will do is my password will expire at this date at this time. What is auto type? So auto type is a feature where you can have key pass enter in your password at superhuman speed. The reason why this used to be a feature in the right-click menu, but they got rid of it because it was kind of buggy. In some websites, especially websites like Google and like Google, I think Google, just because they have like, when you click on it, you know how, I'll show you. When you go to Google, right? You type in your, you type in your email, right? And then you go to your, oh, well, you type in your email and you have to click next. The password and email are on a completely separate page. So then the auto type mm. gets confused. I have no idea how any of this works. I don't use the auto type feature. I think it's kind of silly. Um, plus, it just like because I'm experienced, I know it's been buggy in the past. And then we're good to go. And now you can see favicons here. It's got all the information that I entered. Everything's all nice and dandy. And that's your password. Then all you have to do then now is just repeat this process for every password you ever created. Um, and then uh, the only criticism. This is a big criticism I have. This. Pass XC. Um, and most offline password managers, too, for that matter. Like password safe or the command line password manager pass. I do want to comment on this. Uh, it is like once you have a lot of entries in here, it is near impossible to like find stuff. Like, I mean, yes, you can create folders. So if you right click on here, click new group, and then you can just create a folder. What is called folder? Create a new folder. You can try to use folders to sort things. And you can also create folders. Uh, you can also create folders within folders, and um, you know the usual. But uh, it, I, I always feel like I am never able to find what I find. 
So I have j just like how most people do in the modern day and age, I resort to just looking everything up using the search bar because I have too many passwords. I mean, I, I guess that's kind of how it's supposed to work. Does key pass have integration with your uh, web browser? It does. Uh, and I would say, well, why don't we get into that right now? Um, so uh, if you go to your web browser, I'm going to be using Firefox. I mean, you can use whatever web browser you want. They have a browser extension for uh, for they have a browser extension for Chrome and Firefox. I'll put a link link in the description. Uh, so if you go to the Firefox store, you look up the KeePass browser extension. As you can see, we have 58,000 happy users. Okay, maybe 39 unhappy ones. But what about Safari users? There oh. are dozens of us. Who cares about Safari? Safari is stupid. What you do is you install it for the respective browser of your choosing. That's what I'm going to do. As you can see, I now have KeePass XC installed in my browser. Um, but how do you install like Link? Because Link KeePass XC, because you'll see here, cannot connect to KeePass XC. Please check that the browser integration is enabled in the KeePass XC settings. So what this is going to do is KeePass XC, uh, you need to configure it. And they intentionally like hide this away and don't make it a default because uh, this sort of breaks the security model of KeePass XC and how it functions. Because there is a chance that a website could try to exploit the browser extension and steal your passwords. Now, granted, this yeah, I mean, is, I was kind of wondering that. That that is horribly, it's incredibly rare, and would probably only happen against someone who's targeted by a nation state. But still, if this gets popular enough, and people know, hey, people use this password manager a lot, and because it's so lucrative, you know, maybe we should just send like little JavaScript snippets around, which capture people who are using the KeePass XE browser extension. I mean, isn't that a potential security flaw with every password manager? Of course, this is a this is a problem with every password manager out there. And this isn't just limited just, to Couldn't you have XC. a web page that has a key logger built into it that monitors your key presses all, even when you're not in the web browser? Of or course. Firefox there's, or you could you be, or you open your that. database on a virus-ridden computer, or there's a there's a whole can of worms and what could go wrong. So uh, there's a the browser extension. If you want to, you you know the consequences, and you want to enable the browser extension. You say, Matt, I don't care. I am a normie. Uh, I am not going to be attacked by Russia any day soon. Uh, what you can do is you just check the well, box. Well, I mean, probably. And then uh, check the box here, which requires you to use the extension. And then check off the browsers that you use. So you'll notice here we got every Chromium and Firefox based browser that most people use. If you're not using one of these, I would have some horrible, horrible concerns, but whatever. Uh, so I'm going to check Firefox. Hey, what about Firefox. Opera? What, you, uh, opera users. I'm gonna ignore the fact that you said that. <laughs> <laughs> what we're gonna do is, so then now, uh, I check the Firefox box, right? Then you wanna go to the extension, click on settings, and you'll get to this menu right here. Of course, we're gonna change the dark theme because dark theme is for the, the real people. Screw light theme. You go to connected databases, and you can click on this little button here that says connect. Uh, now, uh, then you can just follow the instructions and get it connected. Now, the reason why it doesn't work for me is because I'm using the flat pack of Firefox. So you're not, I don't, it doesn't work. I mean, it, it would probably work if I was using the flat pack version of KeePass XE, but I am not because the Fedora version is more updated than the flat pack version. <clears throat> uh, not so what it's doing is it's making a local I like virtual yeah server so it makes a virtual computer. server so if i crack open htop here right actually could app armor be interfering with that i don't use app armor so you'll see here uh if, if you look under every process here of keypass xc and you link up your databases there'll be a process in your computer we're using windows mac or linux called the keypass xc browser proxy and that's what's going to be linking your password manager to your browser 
Cosmos. And thing. that's just broadcasting over your machine. Yeah, local it's only broadcast. Local. It's not yeah. broadcasting over the no, your internet. your IP address. Yeah, it doesn't like your. Yeah. Pretty 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 simple to be honest. Um, and then they're gonna that's that's the browser extension in a nutshell. Uh, why did I want to talk about this today? Uh, I am sick of. Uh, I I'm, I love you, Brian Krebs, but uh, this doesn't really help people in understanding. Uh, I need people need to be using a password manager. Unfortunately, the numbers are like less than 10% of all people like worldwide use a password manager or are connected to the internet, and it's worse with young people, uh, especially the Zoomer generation. I have noticed this. It is far worse with the Zoomer generation. So please, please, please use use a password manager. Use a and use a legit password manager. Use a legit password manager like KeePass XC because today, especially a couple weeks ago, KeePass XC got a new feature. It can rate your path. It can rate your passwords and not have to connect to the internet. So let's say I cr I make a password here. Uh, let's just say it's my favorite password that it just happens to be six characters long. I don't know what it could be. You know, it could be, could be literally anything. And then, uh, I'm just gonna call it secure, and then boom. And then, uh, KeyPass XC can actually rate your passwords and say, What? This password is weak? No, keep no no my password's re I'm sorry keypass, but this password's really good. There's no way it could be this weak. Unless it's oh. You wanna protect your database, click the lock button. Oh no, it's locked. Type in your thing, I'll lock your back in. And if you ever want to create something for a website, click on the little dice. You can create a password for the website of your choosing. Uh, I do want to comment though, uh, if you're on Windows or Mac, uh, there, there's no updates on the Linux versions because Linux people are real chads and just use package managers. However, if you're on Linux, Windows or Mac, uh, you will get a pop-up when you boot it up for the first time to update, to check the internet for updates. I recommend, unless you use a package manager, I recommend turning it on. Uh, but I use a package manager, I trust my package manager inherently, therefore, I don't check for updates. Uh, but that's KeyPass XC in a nutshell. And stop using your Excel spreadsheet. Like or Chrome. Comment down below your favorite passwords. <laughs> comment down below your favorite password and share it with all of your friends. Share it with us in the comment section down below and be sure to like the video and click on the stupid little bell. And we'll, we'll see you all in one week.